Hey guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com and yes, I have October's red light therapy news, update, gossip, product launch, video, all sorts, whatever, uh, whatever's going on in the world of red light therapy, um, I'm going to share it in this video. So in this month, uh, we're looking at one or two new products, uh, we've got a heap of new really good blog articles, uh, we go through a new science paper, uh, I answer one of your questions and share some videos and content that I'm working on. So let's start with new products. Okay, so before we get into it, just remember I will put links to every article and product down below. Uh, if you are gonna order any products, be sure to use discount code Alex. It will or should save you a little bit of money and helps fund these videos. So first up, Red Light Rising, uh, the UK based company, they have a new Target Light 2.0. Now, uh, if you've been following my work for since day dot, you would know that their first target light was um, the first handheld portable red light therapy device that I recommended and used to use, and I still have it. That was before all the battery powered handheld devices were available. Now, a lot of people sort of shift to those instead of the handheld ones that still require uh, a plug. Um, but typically the price is lower on the, the, the plug-in um, options because of course you're not paying for the battery and all that sort of jazz. So Red Light, uh, Red Light Rising have come out with the Target Light 2.0, um, similar sort of design you can hold in your hand, uh, plug it into the wall, it's got red light, near and infrared light options. Uh, I don't know what the power readings are like, I haven't tested it, I'm just looking at their website. Uh, I'd like to think it would be more powerful than the first one. Um, pretty neat. Though again, uh, you do have to weigh up whether you're better off buying like a mitre red um, handheld battery device instead of this. But hey, uh, definitely uh, good that there's more options for the consumer. Bond Charge, the company formerly known as Blue Locks, have come out with an infrared sauna blanket. I know it's not quite red light therapy, but you know you are getting a bit of infrared light with these. Um, and I do actually get quite a few questions asking me about these infrared sauna blankets. I have written, or my team have covered um, this topic with the higher dose blanket. Um, so I'll put some links to that below, but yeah, check out this. It's a thousand dollars Australian, so probably about 700 US. Um, and it's interesting because a lot of these red light therapy companies are diversifying into non, oh, not necessarily non red light therapy products, but like related red light therapy products. So uh, we're getting light panels with blues and greens. Um, we're getting these infrared sauna mats. We're getting EMF related products. So. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting. They've also put a blog article talking about the benefits and why you should buy their blanket. And um, they've also set up a, a YouTube channel. And they've got quite a few good videos over there as well. Um, just their Bond Charge YouTube channel. It's just little five, 10 minute videos on, you know, eye strain and um, how you can use red light therapy and, and stuff like that. So go check that out if you're interested. Finally, Platinum LED, uh, the company that create the Biomax red light therapy panels, have actually come out with a new touchscreen remote control um, function for their panels. It's, it's pretty neat, I haven't used it yet, I've only just learned about it. If you go over to their website, platinumtherapylights.com, you'll see it on the home screen. Um, just scroll down a little bit. So this says the Biomax Total Control System, touchscreen convenience with remote control flexibility. So effectively what it looks like is the touchscreen control panel that is built into the new Biomax panels is now available as a remote control uh, unit. The screen looks a little bit bigger than what's on the, the Biomax. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a few uh, benefits to that, obviously. Like you don't have to reach around and play with um, your control panel, especially if your panels are like in a corner, um, you know, and it's hard to access that control panel because it's fixed on one side and, you know, getting around there can be tricky. So touchscreen is, um, remote touchscreen panel is gonna be rather interesting. Um, give people a few more options as well. So it's pretty cool. I see that they're selling it, uh, add professional touchscreen remote for $99. So it's it must be an optional extra. Whether it's worth it or not, it's hard to say. I'll have to try to get my hands on one and check it out. If, if you have used one, if you did order one of these uh, in a re recent purchase, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Before we continue, I just want to do a quick shout out to Performance Lab Energy. This is a supplement I take every day. It helps with mitochondrial health. Uh, you've got coenzyme Q10. 
RLA, um, PQQ, a little bit of black pepper to help with absorption. I take one or two of these every day. It's not one of your typical energy supplements with a big you know, stim hit and then crash. This is just working behind the scenes, helping the cells, helping your body, helping you feel better. I'll put a link to it below and uh, you can check it out if you, if you want to. All right, now we'll look at the new articles, new blog articles. So Mito Red Light have put a pretty good, well, it's rather, rather detailed article uh, on red light therapy and sleep. It's titled, Everything You Need to Know About Red Light Therapy and Sleep. Yeah, I, I mean, the reason why I'm, I'm doing these news videos and in particular sharing all the blog updates is because some of the articles that I've been published these days are really, really good. I know they're coming from companies that are selling red light therapy panels. So of course, you, you know, they're going to promote their products and stuff. I decided that, you know, for the amount of time and research and effort that's involved in, in researching and, and creating these blog articles, I'm better off just recommending the work that others have done because, um, and then I can focus on sharing this information and testing products and reviewing products um, because some of these articles are, are really, really good. So yeah, this is a, a well-written, well-researched article on red light therapy and sleep. Check it out, I'll put a link to it below. Uh, next up, we have an article from Platinum Therapy Lights, Platinum LED. Uh, it's titled, Do Laser Hair Caps Really Work? Now, this is a discussion between lasers and, and panels uh, when it comes to hair loss. I know that there are papers out there showing that you know, red light therapy can help with hair loss. Um, I've even had people you know, say that they've, they've used it and they, they think they, they're growing more hair as a result, you know, uh, as an unwanted side effect. I, I myself uh, looked into this a while ago hoping that it would help me because, yeah, I mean, I, I'm thinning up top. Um, I use red light therapy quite a lot, right? And I haven't seen massive changes or improvements to, to my thinning here. If anything, um, I don't know, maybe I, you could say, well, look, it's, it's, it's thinning at a slower rate, but hey, uh, I mean, there's no way to quantify that, right? But I did reach out to a company a long time ago who specialized in, in this, like hair recovery and uh, hair growth. Um, using these these caps and whatnot, and they I sent through some photos and whatnot, and they said, look, you're uh, you're too advanced for the technology to work. Um, so they didn't even recommend selling uh, their products to me. So I was like, oh, that, that's pretty cool. So anyway, total tangent there, but yeah, check out this article if if you are in the space looking for you know maybe considering these red light therapy caps. Um, check out this article. Do laser hair caps really work? Uh, and you can make a decision whether you want to get the, the hair cap, the head cap, or um, just get a panel. While you're over on the Platinum LED website, also check out the article titled Blue Light Therapy, Uses, Benefits, and Side Effects. Now, it's interesting because like I mentioned earlier, a lot of these companies are starting to talk about the benefits of green light and blue light, and some of these companies are incorporating these, these colors into their red light therapy panels. Some of them are offering a red light therapy panel that, that has a lot of blue and greens, like as a different version. And you know what, it's not just another marketing fad, like, hey, let's try and be different to the competitors and stuff. There is a lot of good science, um, credible science behind the benefits of these other wavelengths. The blue light, and this is what it covers in the Platinum LED article, is mostly uh, beneficial for skin health. Um, you know, skin wounds, acne, um, what else do they got here? Inflammatory skin conditions, eczema. So, and, and that's something I've heard a lot of, uh, a lot of benefits. A lot of people talking about, you know, with the masks in particular, they, they use a lot of blues and greens in there. So it does also talk about other benefits other than skin for why you'd want to use blue light. And then also some um, potential side effects as well. Uh, Red Light Rising have put together a testimonial section where they categorize all the testimonials that I've received, which is currently 1,692, which is quite impressive. And they've, they've bunched them into topics. So all the testimonials on sleep, all the testimonials on skin health and eye health and recovery. Uh, so you can click recovery for instance, and then, yeah, read all of those testimonials on that particular particular topic. So uh, it's, it's kind of cool if you're still on the fence about buying, you know, a relight therapy device. This is, and you want to see if it's going to work for your particular condition, then this is um, a good resource. Obviously, the company putting this stuff out sells the products. So, you know, there's a bit of bias there. But I mean, hey, anyone that's used relight therapy, um, you know, they, they soon realize this stuff works and the science is there to support it as well. So this is more of a resource um, helping you to find, you know, 
if it's going to work for your particular particular condition i guess now talking about excellent blog articles and why i don't do many of them anymore and instead just refer to these uh top quality articles there's this is a really really good one by uh gimba red this was published the 2nd of september it's a little bit old um i missed it in time for last month's uh, red light therapy news though and the article is titled advanced intensity analysis for red light therapy panels beam angle coverage area and iso irradiance plots now it sounds very technical and if you just skim through the article and look at some of the graphs and some of the words in it you may think this is just over my head but it's not it's looking at something that i'm concerned about and a lot of other people have been concerned about and that is what's happening to the light from a red light therapy panel as you move beyond the panel and away from the panel um and does do things such as beam angle really matter now i've done some testing on this some basic testing and i've found that yeah beam angles don't matter because there seems to be no correlation between a panel that with 30 degree beam angle and 90 degree angle as to what happens with the light it, it is quite narrowly focused in front of the panel in terms of therapeutic output you are getting light exposure i've got a panel on the floor behind me it's lighting up this whole room right but that doesn't mean if you can be in the far corner with a little bit of red on you that you're going to get a therapeutic dose of red light so anyway gimme red uh yeah Andrew's put out this really good article, check it out. I've skimmed through it. I'm gonna go back and read it properly um, after this because yeah, there's a lot in it to take away. Um, and I still wanna do my own testing on this topic. So it's gonna be really neat um, you know, having some of this data here. So if you've always wondered what's going on with the light, do you actually need a wider panel to get full body coverage? Check out this article, links are below. Cyto LED is another uh, website blog that I am pretty much including in this in this news segment every month because yeah they continue to put out really really well written well researched um articles on red light therapy they're, they've got some great content over there and it's all easy to read well laid out you know you got bullet points and some nice graphics so um this this article that i'm sharing with you today is simply titled what is red light therapy a general overview of red light therapy concepts and research and um it's like a 101 of red light therapy, I guess. You know, if you're, if you're new to the space, um, it shows the amount of research that's gone into the space, uh, which is actually crazy. Uh, when I'm looking at this graph, there's just tons of research on it. Shows how, how it's been around for so long. Obviously with the invention of LEDs, we can, you know, we've seen the price point come down. It's been more accessible. Benefits, uh, all sorts of stuff. So if you're new to red light therapy or you're, you know, you want a good, not just a, a tabloid style article on why red light therapy is beneficial and uh, you want something a little bit more nitty gritty then um, check this out. Uh, Cyto LED, what is red light therapy? Light Path LED have also put together a, a resource uh, for people wanting to learn about the benefits of red light therapy. Um, what they've done is they've got the, the main what they share is the main benefits of red light therapy. So we've got um, weight loss, uh, inflammation, blood pressure, immune system, athletic recovery. Um, they've, they've broken them all down, skin health, and then from each key benefit, you can click on that and read an article on that topic. So uh, again, if, if you're wanting to get into the space to help your hormones or your skin or your sleep, check this resource out have a look at the um, specific articles I've put together. Finally, we have an article from Rude Care. Uh, this is titled, How Red Light Therapy Can Support Detoxification. Um, it's a topic that's really discussed in the red light therapy space. Uh, so it is nice to see an article on this topic. It's not something that I have looked into too much. Generally, I associate sauna, you know, heat with detoxification, but um, it looks like, yeah, there is some benefit from red light therapy as well. So if that's something you're interested in, check that article out. Okay, so the title of the study we're looking at this month is Utilization of the 1064 nanometer wavelength in photobiomodulation. Now this is a review meta-analysis. So 1064, 1064 nanometers is not typically seen uh, in the red light therapy panels. You know, the typical wavelengths we see are your 660 and 850, 850 being your near infrared. 10 uh, over a thousand nanometers um I, there may have been one panel that had something over a thousand i can't remember off the top of my head i know there are some panels with like 900s in there but um 1060 in particular 1064 is quite a unique uh, wavelength so this research pulled up 
um, various studies over the years that have utilized this wavelength and tried to determine whether it was beneficial, especially in a higher powered um, therapy protocol. So the authors of this study found that yes, the, the larger wavelength light um, could be beneficial in people that have a lot of melanin in the skin um, because the larger wavelength can be uh, can penetrate the body, the skin, uh, a lot better than say an 800 nanometer light. So it's quite interesting, uh, I, something, you know, it's another variable when it comes to red light therapy. Uh, it's not just about, you know, power, time, wavelength. There's so many, so many variables at play. Anyway, uh, so this paper did pull up some studies that said, yes, this particular wavelength has been shown to uh, reduce pain, increase range of motion, um, increase the quality of life for people suffering joint pain. It was, a lot of the studies were around knee pain. Um, I don't think this wavelength is unique to only benefiting people with knee pain. It's just that coincidentally, that's what the, most of the studies had been done uh, on knee pain. So I would believe that it would also help, you know, shoulder pain, back pain, um, elbow pain, whatever. Um, but yeah, seeing things in here such as uh, increasing range of motion, uh, quality of life, um, obviously less pain. The range of motion is quite interesting, but I guess that's also due to the fact that if there's less pain in there and the joint itself is, is healing from you know, surgery or injury. So these findings are not only great for the elderly or people recovering from surgery, but also I guess athletes, you know, the, the increased uh, range of motion is a big thing there. But the real summary from this um, research is that there are benefits to these other wavelengths. Um, you know, don't get caught up in um, marketing hype saying, look, you only need 660 and 850. Uh, everything else is, is irrelevant because we know that is not the case. Like there's, there's so many studies and this is just another example. Um, does this mean you should go out and try find a panel with 1064 nanometers um, in it? Well, I don't think there are any that are even close to that, but hey, who knows, in time we may see companies come out with you know, LEDs where, or a panel where you can go in and choose which wavelengths you want. Maybe they've got like 10 different models or, um, and you can pick and choose. I, I'm not too sure, but look, end of the day, I think the companies that are putting out these multi-wave panels, you know, four, four or five wavelengths in it, uh, are going to be better for the end user. Uh, so now we move on to the this month Q and A, and I actually forgot to prepare for this one, so I do apologise for that. But I did have a question come through this morning, uh, so I'm going to use that. It's it's a rather brief one, and I may have covered it before, but it's simply a question of, hey, what do you think of this brand? Uh, I get it all the time, and a lot of the times I've never heard of uh, the brand in, in question. So what I do is I quickly Google it, go on their website, have a look. Most of the time I do this, it's a pretty small, pretty new company, nothing too polished from a website point of view. And the products or the panels um, just look like carbon copies of panels that have been around for years. So the company I got asked about today was called Orion, I think, Orion Red Light Therapy. It's a Canadian company. Um, to be honest, like you look at the website, I mean, it's all your sort of standard stuff, right? And the products like that panel, I've seen many, many times and for years. So look, it may be a good panel. It may just be rubbish. I'm not too sure. Chances are it'll do what it's meant to do. There are just so many companies like this. I mean, I would, yeah, sure. I'd love to review them all and, and help you make the best decision possible. But um, it's just so time consuming, expensive. Um, and I just, I just can't keep up with a lot of these newer companies popping up. Over time, if, if something... If one of these companies becomes a bit more established, um, you know, and, and they have to like ship internationally or at least to the main centers and, you know, have good price and all that. Um, but if they come out with something unique as well, like that's more reason for me to go check them out. So anyway, if you want to know, you know, are these panels good? Um, unfortunately, I can't really say at the moment. Uh, I'm sure they are just looking at them. They look like many other panels on the market. So. Yeah, I mean, if you want to give it a go, great. Um, and who knows, maybe six months, 12 months time, I'll, I'll turn around and be like, you know what, let's let's try one of these panels. So be sure to subscribe to check them out. If you have used these particular panels, um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. All right, finally, so what's been happening over in my side of the world 
with content. So I've got lots of red light therapy videos going out. I'm trying to get at least one red light therapy video out a week. Sometimes there's two. Uh, what have we had recently? We've had a Red Rush 400 Pulse review, uh, trouble troubleshooting video going out, the Luminos Red Model 1 review, uh, dangers of red light therapy in a sauna, all that sort of stuff. I have done my Infrared Flex uh, Max review. It's all done. Uh, it's, we're just going through the editing phase now. It should be out end of October, all going well. Um, so be sure to hang around for that. I'll also do an Infrared Flex Mini, the small version. Um, I'll be filming that soon as well. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a Mitre Red Belt video. I've ordered a Juve tabletop, the Juve, uh, what's it called, Juve Mini, the tabletop version. Very expensive. Uh, I think I paid $1,500 US for that. Uh, it's insane actually. Like you can get other tabletop panels for what, three, 400 bucks. $1,500, I almost didn't want to go through with the order, but I knew it would be good to have that to compare it to the other panels. Um, so that will be coming up. Also the Biomax tabletop panel, and then a big comparison. I wanted to do that at the, at the end of this year. I'm still hoping to do that. Uh, I'm just running out of time, especially because I still need the Juve and the Biomax one. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how we go. So yeah, be sure to subscribe. If you've enjoyed this, thumbs up. If you've got a question, leave them below. Um, if you're gonna buy any red light therapy device, try use discount code Alex. It'll probably save you and help me. So, hey look, appreciate you watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm gonna sign off and I'll see you later, bye.